While it sometimes may look like our lives are a 24-7 vacation, contrary to popular belief, we do actually have to work to, you know, keep the lights on. Well, actually the solar does that, but we do need to pay for our gas at least. We've got a gorgeous office location today and we thought we'd show you what it looks like to work from our van for the day. a day in our life. Our work days in the van tend to start like this. It's dark out and we don't want to get it. Yeah, it's a little after 6.30 and the sun will come up soon. But it's nice and cozy in here. Yeah. It's warm in the bed. But it's time to get up and start the day. I know, we gotta get to work. We're supposed to be working Eastern time hours, which means we need to start work at 7 a.m. Which but means we better get going. <laughs> it does. but. I really do like to spend a few minutes just enjoying the sunrise. Mm -hmm. I'm normally never up at sunrise, mm -hmm. but because the time shift, it means we're- We have to be. We have to be. We have a few morning routine things here in the van. We need to put the bed away and make this into a table. I like to go put out our awning so that we have the option to work outside. And just like that, we've got our awning, our moonshade up, and we are ready to start the work day. to take my bowl of cereal outside and look at emails and any messages I got from work while I eat that. Katie's about to start a meeting. She's finishing her breakfast. So my reel posted, answering Instagram DMs. Katie's definitely started her work day. I need to as well. Probably should have like 20 minutes ago, but. Don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. <laughs> I was gonna film myself working, but I was gonna work on my phone. And I film on my phone. So. I feel like we got the nicest site in this whole place. We were so lucky that we just happened to drive further to the right to this like secret little beach that's here. Like here, some of the sites have like palapas and some people really know what they're doing because they've brought tarps and stuff yeah, to- Yeah, they have good setups over here. To sure. cover the palapas. But we have just such a nice beach where we are. Overall, this is a really nice beach and a nice campground. We paid 200 pesos per night to stay here, which is about $16 Canadian. Yeah, maybe there's, like 12 American or so. There's two restaurants here, which we have yet to try out, but hopefully soon. And there's lots of space for us to take our midday walks, which is nice, because we find when we're working on Eastern time zone, but we're like on the West Coast, by the time the lunch break rolls around, we're not really ready to eat lunch yet, because it's only 9 a.m. here, even though we did get up early. So we like to take a walk at lunch and we'll eat a little bit later this afternoon. Basically, we take a coffee break when everyone else is doing their lunch break. Yeah. And we take our lunch break when everyone else is doing their mid-afternoon coffee break. Yeah. So that's kind of our that's routine. That's what works for us here. It's actually really hot. It's a warm one. There's no, no wind breeze. today. No breeze today. And it's nice and sunny. Do you see our... Uh... <gasps> no! Not the awning! I this really thought that before. was going to work. Our awning Frick. has come unmoored. I really thought that sticky thing was gonna work. Oh, it's so sad coming back around this corner to see that. Well, now I have to uh, fix the awning, finish my work day, and then finally I think I'll have earned a okay. swim. Yeah. <laughs> Rosie, stop it. Okay.
okay katie's still working i just put my laptop away because it's lunchtime. um but before i make lunch i think i need to take out the garbage because the uh cupboard door won't shut it's gonna embarrass us in this way yeah there's too much garbage for the door to shut let me do that first then let's make lunch and continue on with the day I think people should know that this is gonna be the second time only that we've taken the garbage out. So like we basically have one grocery bag of garbage per week. We try to be sparing. Look, with van life, you have to be sparing with all things. Garbage is one of them, but electricity, water, all those things you take for granted when you're chilling at home are in limited supply. Speaking of that, I'm just gonna send this one comment reply and then I'm gonna turn off the internet for a bit. Okay, fair enough. Fred is toasting. We've got sandwiches coming right up. And with lunch, we are going to watch our favorite YouTube show. It's called Jet Lagged. And we watch it on Nebula. We're we're paying subscribers. We're paid subscribers. Yeah. I think this might be the season finale, so let's Hello and welcome to the finale of our race from Continental America's the North America. Okay, we are now cleaning up well, cleaning up lunch. <laughs> Two and a half hours of work and then I can swim. <laughs> the countdown's on. It's um, quarter to five, home time, which means it's 2.45 here time. I'm done my work for the day, and we've got the whole afternoon and evening to ourselves. Dan's favorite time is quitting time, and it pretty much is quitting time. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm done with what I need to do for the day, and I'm ready to uh, do something other than look at my laptop. Look, we gotta go experience the beautiful sunny warm outdoors yeah let's let's go get out there all right katie says we have to do a workout before we can swim <laughs> no it's uh too early in the new year to abandon our new year's resolutions so that's why we're doing the workout like we don't have to frame it like katie's making me do this no, maybe right. katie is giving me the opportunity to feel better to get outside to get some endorphins it's a mutual decision i need socks completely mutual some cardio and good music in my right. What were you listening to? Oh, Get Back by Demi Lovato. Love that. From like 2008 or something like that. Classic rock. That's my classic rock. <laughs> <laughs> Un momento. Lo siento. No, no problema. ¿Tiene cambio? Sí, ¿de cuánto? ¿De 200? 200? Sí. 
Gracias. Gracias. De nada, amiga. Now it's time for me to dry off and relax. But I had a good swim. Swim all the way out to uh, that boat over there and a little further. I think I'm gonna sit down and dry off and maybe play a game of Next Station London. Katie and I played this game for the first time last night and I really enjoyed it. And there's a solo mode you can play by yourself. So I thought that would be my beach activity. What a pretty game, don't you think? Okay, we're packing up our beach supplies and ready for dinner, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go check out the one of the restaurants that's here at the beach. We haven't been there yet, so this is not part of our typical routine, no. but, but something how to nice. do. Yeah, it's a nice amenity of this campground. Yeah. Restaurants right on site. Let's go see how it is. Such a beautiful evening. It is. At least we get to look at the sunset while we wait for our food. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely night. Gracias. Muchas gracias. <laughs> to wash the dishes. Y quiero estudiar español. Okay. Time for a little bit of Spanish studying. What do you think of all my um, Spanish studying and learning over the past year or so? Katie's been really committed to Spanish. She's put a lot of effort into it and it's been helpful for us so far. You don't necessarily need to learn Spanish to be able to do van life in Baja because it is quite a touristy area and many places folks here will speak some English. However, I think it's always good to learn a little bit because it has come in handy for us already. I mean, you can always gesture through situations for the most part, but it's much more efficient to communicate with language if possible. So first I thought I'd just share how I have been learning Spanish. This has evolved over time, but there's many different parts of my study routine, including Duolingo. Your girl's got a 95 day streak as of today. But I also have a couple textbooks that I kind of like work through at my own pace. In addition to that, I try to make it a practice to journal in Espanol some days. And I also have flashcards that I go through for remembering vocab and I also do conjugation charts every day. What else? Um, I try to listen to a podcast in Spanish or watch YouTube or like Netflix in Spanish most days if I can. Y es todo, yo creo. So why don't I share a couple phrases that I think would be helpful for you if you were going to do van life in Baja y disculpe porque mi acento no es bueno, pero estoy intentando. And obviously like I'm not that advanced, but these are just actual sentences I have used so far. Number one, we got your typical phrases. Hola, buenas, por favor, gracias. You want to know that, obviously, especially if you're in a van. You drive up to a campsite, you want to know what does it cost to stay here? You could say, cuánto cuesta por cada noche? How much is it for each night? This was a helpful one when we drove up to like a water store and jump out of the van, you say, podemos llenar con agua purificada, por favor. And then in our case, I wanted to ask, tiene una manguera, which is a hose. And finalmente, la última. I'm gonna start saying this because I think it's gonna make me feel less insecure. Disculpe por mi español, estoy aprendiendo. Sorry for my Spanish, I am learning. So I want to practice, but I know I'm very slow. Muy despacio, 
uh, pero quiero practicar. Entonces voy a decir, disculpe por mi español, estoy aprendiendo. And that's some Spanish tips with Katie. Hopefully this is helpful for you. <laughs> or give you some insight into what I spend at least an hour a day doing. Um, because I'm very dedicated to this. <laughs> okay. Spanish study hour is complete. And I wanted to play this new game that we've been playing, Next Station. We played it for the first time last night. But I'm afraid Dan's gonna have an advantage after his practice Because I practiced this afternoon. This afternoon. Yeah. It's a fun game. It is fun. It's sort of satisfying to make your little subway roads. Biggest upset. We tied. I can't believe that. 137 apiece. I'm shook because I thought I was having my best game ever and you were having your worst game ever and we tied. So what does that say? How did it happen? You did a little better than me. Good game. Yeah, I think that's what did. That sealed the deal. Good game. Are you recording me? <laughs> Do you agonize over the results? Well, if I had just done things slightly differently in the last round, I could have got to the central station. Yeah. And that would have been a lot more. That would have been like 10 more points. Dan's upset because he didn't beat me. So he's got to analyze how Even he could have improved it. Yeah. <gasps> but the next thing we have to see who wins... Is jet lag. jet lag! Oh my gosh, yeah. We gotta get into bed mode and then we can watch our show. And then okay. I can sleep. None of the rounds ended more than one quarter. Mm -hmm. And that not even happen every time. Are you excited for the finale? No one is gonna win. We were just enjoying our show, heard a noise. Do we want to try to stick it back up again? Or are we calling it? I think we got to take it down at least for the night. Yeah, yeah no. No, it's all full of sand. Yeah, that was so good. We weren't so even annoying. done our show. We could get out of bed for that. I guess it's better than it like blowing away completely in the absolute middle of the night yeah. while we're fast asleep. <laughs> yeah. We wouldn't want that. Us not finding it at all the next day. It's like, I don't know, floated all the way to Panama or something. Uh, this moonshade seems like such a great idea and I feel like it would be if there was any way that you could actually reliably attach it to your van. But Section we've tried don't many work. Adhesives of- don't work. And these are things that came with this product. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is the perfect place to use an awning. So it's muy triste. Anyway. Do you want to finish the show? Yeah. Season A of Jet Lag the Game. And just like that, we're done. That was fun. So late. was bringing you along for the day. It's 10 p.m. here time, which means it's midnight at home. Which means we better get we to really bed. We gotta hit the hay. So we can do it all over again tomorrow. We hope that you've enjoyed coming along for a day in our life living in our van on the beach. It's been a good one. I feel like we've kind of fallen into a nice routine here at Playa Santis Park. And uh, yeah, if you like the Van Life Mexico content, then make sure that you are subscribed. Give this video a like. We really appreciate it. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.